Yo, what's up? Um, about two years ago, um, I started working on trying to put together a, a group of some of my closest friends uh, with a goal in mind, uh, finding out how to really become a godly man. And um, the reason being is because I found out that I was only a good bruh as long as I stayed in folks good graces and honestly that wasn't good enough I wanted to be what God wanted me to be and so what I did is I started looking through scripture for a template of what does a godly man look like and as I started to form my list and look at other lists of what godly men were I found out I kept falling short so what I decided to do is, is reach out to some of my closest friends all of them who I knew that were followers of Christ or um, wanting to be better men as far as men of, men of God and um, we decided to do this thing um, virtually. And so, um, man, it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, the average age difference between the youngest member and the oldest member on there typically is about 50 years. A lot of times we're looking at three, sometimes four generations of men. And I'm talking real conversation, no no cute church conversations. And um, what I love about it is people allow themselves to be vulnerable. Yes, I've put my dirty laundry out there before them. And um, uh, the love that's in this group is absolutely amazing. But what I asked was, I asked those guys, because I can talk about this all day long. And, of course, people will think that I'm pumping this group up or whatever. Um, so I asked some of the men to, to come in and, and talk about what one to the head is to them and um, also what it has been to them. Uh, you'd be amazed of uh, the love that's in this group, the power that's in this group. And so what I want to do is just offer you an opportunity to see some of the different faces from across the country, from different backgrounds that belong to one to the head. And just so you can get a sneak peek of some of the, the power and the love that's within our group. Um, and if there's a man out there who's willing to, willing to step up to the challenge, who really desires to be more than just a good man, uh, but to be a godly man, um, hit me up. Um, we would love to bring you in the group, uh, introduce you to the brothers and continue to grow with one another. Greetings. Prayer for that everyone as well. <clears throat> what does one to the head mean to me? Uh, I'd have to say that it means that God is real and the people, particularly the people in this group, still seek him. What has one to the head, this group, done for me? It's restored my belief in the goodness of mankind. Uh, B can tell you, I was at the point of just cutting everybody loose. Uh, just felt really disappointed in mankind. Uh, most of the people that I know, whether it's casual or long term, we were just failing one another. And by failing one another, we failed God. And I didn't know how to fix it. So I was removing myself from anyone in any situation that wasn't an absolute necessity. With this group, I love the, the vision that, that B has for it. The brothers that are in here, I'm particularly impressed with the, uh, the young brothers in here. These guys, uh, from what I gather, are in, some of them are in college. Thursday night, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, depending on where they are. When I was in school, that was the beginning of the weekend because we knew not to take classes on Fridays. These guys, young guys, good looking guys, they could be out doing anything and being with, you know, different women out there. But they choose on Thursday nights to be a part of this group. Now, I know they got the invite from B, but to continually come back to me, that, that speaks volumes for them and who they are, their character. I'm, I'm impressed with the diversity of the group. Uh, just getting to know the brothers, everything is just truly impressive to me. Um, what I want to do is connect some things that I have. I own uh, three businesses, and this is not a shameless plug for those businesses. The names of them, I took uh, my time in naming these businesses. I wanted unique names for them, and it just so turns out each one of these businesses is at least a year and a half old. But it just so turns out now that this group is is running, each name of my business, each of my business names connects to this group. Uh, one of them is a bookstore cafe, and it's called Learning Souls. And every Thursday night, 
we're a bunch of souls just learning from one another, learning about one another and learning different ways to navigate our journey to the goal of being godly men. Another business I have is a t-shirt apparel company. It's called Broken Chains. And the concept behind that was I could do what I want with my shirts and my apparel, put whatever I wanted on them. But if you come to me with something crazy to put on them, I have the freedom because of these broken chains to tell you, no, you can go somewhere else. And with this group, having a diversity that's in the group, the age, uh, the age range, the different backgrounds, the different uh, work life, family backgrounds, everything is so diverse. And I've been around for a while and I've never been a part of or even heard of a group seeking God with this much diversity and, and being true. And my third business is my real estate and investment uh, business. And it's called Ubuntu, U-B-U-N-T-U. -U. It's an African word that I came across about 30, 32 years ago. And uh, some, some African gentleman I was with said that about me. And I asked, like, what does that mean? And they said, you being American is, is loosely translates to humanity towards others. So I'm like, well, what does it mean to you being African? What's the real meaning of the word? And they said it's a universal bond of sharing that connects all humanity. And uh, this group, to me, epitomizes that word, Ubuntu. We have that universal bond, which is B. We come from all walks of life, you know, the different races, Again, the age, uh, our family, diversity, the backgrounds, and here we are sharing with each other, uplifting one another, encouraging one another, being there for one another. And that's what this group has done for me. Uh, I'd like to end this with uh, the uplift that the group has given. Reminds me of Ecclesiastes 4, 9, and 10. I'm paraphrasing, but... Basically, two are better than one, for they have great, reward, great rewards for their work. And if one shall fall, the other is there to lift him up. That's exactly what this group does. You, you've done it for me, and you've done it for others. And I've been there. I hopefully have uplifted some other people in the group. I just I have so much excitement. I'm not a rah-rah guy, but... Uh, I have excitement. It takes a lot to excite me, and this group has excited me with where we are and what I see where we're going. I appreciate it. Glad I met each one of you, and looking forward to see you on Thursday nights. Peace. So uh, just what happens, uh, I'm here at youth group. I'm a youth group director. I cook for the confirmation kids and then for my youth group. Um, B asked us, you know, what this group meant to us. It's crazy, right? Just so happened I had to have the shirt on. Um, but you know, I, I've known B for over 30 years. Um, and it's crazy through this group when we call godly men, uh, you meet these other guys. And even though I've known B for 30 years, I can't say that I have the other guys, but you go through one group and you share, you talk about what God's done in your life, how things are affecting you. And, uh, you come to realize that, uh, you, you feel like you've known them for 30 years. We'll put, group, we'll put this group of guys together to amongst one each other, um, another to get to know each other, to spread the differences, um, you know, black, white, brown, green, um, Republican, Democrat, doesn't matter. Because one love that outweighs all those individual things is the godly love, which brings us to our godly men. I mean, we got some, some older fellas in our group. We got some young ones. I mean, we got a real young one in Mr. Brown Sr. That's the young fellow of the group. But it just for me, it's it's a place to open up. Um, no matter how bad the week has gone, you get to know that, hey, man, I got men's group on Thursday. And I'm going to be with my brothers. And everything's going to be all right. And, you know, sometimes you leave and you, you, some of those things that aren't right come back. But at least you know for that hour, hour and a half that your brother's got my back. And it's kind of that old saying, am I not your brother's keeper? And realistically, that's what this group does. It keeps us all in line. 
It lets us express each other, ourselves to each other. Um, vulnerable. <laughs> Saying some things in there that uh, you just don't normally hear. But uh, when you got a love for another person and you know that you can talk and get the answer, maybe not the answer you need, um, but, you know, they say if you love somebody, you don't tell them what they want to hear. You tell them what they need to hear. And I, I know that men's group's there for me. Um, I'm just thankful that Will asked me to be a part of it. I'm thankful to meet the brothers that I have in there. Uh, so with that. One to the head. Where do I start? Um, it's, a, it's an amazing group of motivated men. Men that are motivated to learn more about being godly men. Being Christ-like. And uh, what a wonderful setting to be in, watching these relationships, these friendships grow as we uh, come together to help each other out, pick each other up, learn from one another. What a blessing. What a godsend. This group is like a, a answered prayer to me. Thank you, Pastor, for your wonderful vision. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. God bless. Hi, uh, my name is BJ Staley, and I'm a member of the One to the Head men's group, and just would like to share about what it means to me. Um, I've kind of been there since the start of the group, and um, it's just, it's changed my life. Um, it's a place where there's no racial boundaries, no religious boundaries, no... Um, the things that have a tendency to separate us in our day-to-day -to -day lives. Uh, none of the rhetoric that we hear. Uh, the world is such a negative place, and this is a very positive place. You can be supported. You can be listened to. You can be sometimes called out, sometimes challenged. But it's always a safe place where you can share uh, your innermost thoughts, you can share your heart with uh, brothers that just want to be like you. They want to be the best Christian men that they can be and best godly men that they can be. You know, it's not all sappy. It's not all about putting on a front or putting on airs. We just want to be as real as we can be and be as honest with each other as we can be and support each other the best we can. Um, the thing that hits my heart the closest is just being able to touch base with guys from completely different backgrounds, uh, from completely different walks of life, and completely different occupations, and you know, a lot of us don't have a whole lot in common other than we just want to support each other in this world that we all have to live in. And these guys have become brothers to me. They've just become uh, something I look forward to every week and something that uh, I know my life would feel empty without. So um, anybody that wants to join, I encourage them to. And uh, I'm just thankful to God for, for what it's meant to me. Hello, my name is Mario Berner from Newport News, Virginia. The One Today Group has given me a community I really needed. Fresh out of college, I was trying to grow in my faith and this group was recommended to me by other gentleman who was already mentoring me in his own way. On this call, there are men of all ages. From the oldest to the youngest man, I can truly say that I've taken something away from each and every one of them. My biggest takeaway that I've gotten from this group is that my problem is not just my problem. If I have an issue, they are willing to help and willing to find a solution with me, whether it be financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, any way that I need help, they are willing to be there for me. One thing about this call is that there are people of all ages and backgrounds. So when you're on this call, you'll never feel alone. For this call, I'm truly grateful that God has given me the ability to just sit here on this call and learn from many different men and learn that I'm not the only person struggling today in society. Hello out there, hello out there. My name is James Robinson Jr. And I bring you greetings from New Jersey, the Garden State. And I just wanted to come on and talk about the One to the Head Men's Ministry. This ministry allows men from all over the country to have open, honest, and transparent conversations. And this ministry has truly been a blessing to my life. This ministry is helping to prepare me for marriage. This ministry is helping to prepare me for fatherhood. And I'm so grateful to be a part of this ministry. 
in this uh, season of my life. I'm affiliated with five different ministries. So unfortunately, I don't always have the time to come on to the call every week. But when I do have the time, when I am able to come in and pop in, I am blessed by what I'm able to see. And I'm blessed by what I'm able to hear. You know, we're living in a dangerous time. We're living in a time of evil and, and darkness and, 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 and false prophets are starting ministries every day. And there's a lack of leadership in most of these ministries. But I can honestly say that uh, the one to the head ministry has authentic, firm, sound leadership. Uh, I believe that Reverend Kai Brown is... Uh, doing a wonderful job with gathering the men together. And I have really uh, been blessed by this ministry. It is my prayer that as we go further in 2021, that the One to the Head ministry would continue to grow. It is also my prayer that everyone attached, everyone that is connected to the one to the head ministry is blessed abundantly. Uh, so again, I just wanted to come on and just talk about this wonderful ministry. And um, I know that God has great things in store for this ministry. Thank you.